So I recently picked up this old bezel to a 1960s television, and I think it can make a very cool 16mm projection screen. So we have this piece of white foam core board that can go behind it, and then we can just have that in front of it. And that could look pretty cool. Now these spikes right here are going to be an issue. I'm going to have to knock those off. I think I can knock them off with just a pipe. Or not. This stuff's pretty strong. There we go. This one didn't turn out too well because it has a lot of marks on it. So this will just be a template for the next one. Now as for hanging this up, I'm going to wrap a piece of wire around these screws. I am pretty happy with that. And I'll use a tin spike to hold it up. I'll just lift up this box and use the weight of this box to hold it in. And that should be strong enough for at least a little while. Like so. And you know, it's actually not that bad in full light either. Well, not, not daylight, but with all the lights in the basement on. Let's try my color film. Now, nah, I'll just undo this. There we go. It's a little bit easier to see. Come on, can you turn off the other two lights? Good, yeah. There we go. I'm pretty happy with how this works. Unfortunately, the camera, which records at 30 frames per second, isn't picking up the 24 frames per second video too well. Which is understandable. I like how it's like a, a perfectly the right size for it. I'll definitely have to work on making a stand to hold my projector at this, uh, yeah, at this exact position, so I can always have just a projector set up without having to get it out and put up a, a screen. It saves me so much hassle. I'm really happy with the color of that. You can really see the grain of it now. Whereas the projection screen that I had before, it was an odd reflective coating and you couldn't really see the grain very much, but this is a nice smooth surface, so it's really nice. That grain is pretty amazing. It is nice.
and that is it. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I might want to make a cover for this so it doesn't get any stuff on the screen, but I think it should be fine for now. Well guys, I am really happy with how this turned out. I love how the image looks when it's projected onto, onto the screen. And I also, I love how the bezel looks. It, it, it fits film so well. Because it's from the 1960s, but I don't know, just, I like the style a lot. And I'm, I'm really happy I found this at the recycling center. It kind of reminds me of uh, that movie Blast from the Past. 1990s film, I think, where the dad, I think it was Christopher Walken, put an 8mm projector behind a screen and made their, a, a film TV and look kind of like this, just rear projection instead of front projection. I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of that. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and yeah, I now kind of have a somewhat permanent projection setup. I'm really happy with that. I was a bit worried that it would look bad because this isn't like the tube that was made the, that this was made for curves and meets this on all the sides, but this is flat and so it doesn't actually meet it in the middle. So there is a little gap where you can like reach your finger through or whatever. And I was kind of afraid like from this angle it looks kind of crappy, but from a viewing angle it actually looks okay. Like on the screen right now. I think it looks fine. So, yeah, because you're probably not going to be watching it from this angle anyway. So, being able to see through the frame doesn't really matter too much. I'm really happy with this. It was, it was, it was a simple build, but it was so cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!